Hello guys, welcome back to the Hard to the Info. Today I do have the Poco F8 Ultra and I'm going to tell you how you can easily fix the battery drain on your phone. So at first have your phone unlocked, then go straight to the settings and here go straight to the battery. To go to the battery scroll down and tap battery here. Now once you've tapped battery you'll see mode battery trackup, charging options, charge battery protection and additional features. But if you scroll further down you'll see the uh, as you can see a diagram of your battery going down or up of course once charging or discharging and battery usage. But if you scroll further you'll see the apps that <coughs> cause the most damage, I mean most discharge of the battery over here. So uh, if you do have here some applications, you, some applications you don't really recognize, you don't want to have your on your phone, tap on it. Of course if you if it uh, if it's some system application like for example Poco Launcher, leave it <laughs> as it is. But if it's some uh, phone booster 300 2000 something like that and uh, just uninstall this application. So for example let's assume that this is um, this is the application I want to uninstall. Here tap it and now on uh, on here you will see for stop uninstall or details. Tap this bin icon on the foreign application. And apart from that here if you do have some TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Messenger, any Thing like that and you don't really care about the notifications from these applications like for example from TikTok you can just have the for uh, this application limited tap on this application and maybe not this one exactly but let's go back to the YouTube and here battery saver as you can see here we have no restrictions battery saver close ups after 10 minutes of background inactivity and restrict uh, on a normal Android phone like for example po like for example Google Pixel. Here we do have only no restrictions, battery saver and restrict. So uh, here in this POCO you can either select close ups after 10 minutes of background activity or tap restrict and OK. What I do recommend, uh, even though that this is this this uh, we do have this option here, I do recommend drastic background applications because now our application won't work at all in the background so our battery will be saved but for the video purposes I will go back to the battery saver now what I do recommend is to go back and tap on the apps here as I can see we have a lot of cool applications and not cool applications here uh, most commonly you do have some bloatware so uh, bloatware is nothing but pre-installed applications like for example games or some applications that you don't really want on your phone but you do so what to do with such applications? Let's assume that, uh, that AliExpress is our bloatware. Tap on this application, tap on install button at the, at the bottom of your screen and tap uninstall. <coughs> and though do it this extra this process with the uh, same like with the everything with everything with every single application that you have on your phone that you don't recognize and that is not system application. Like for example, Mi Browser, Mi Coin, and Mi Dog Viewer is of course a system application. You need it, but for example, Netflix is something that you don't really want and use. You can tap here on install button, uninstall. Here, as you can see, we have something called Opera News. Here, if you tap it, you can see that this application is bloatware actually or if you use it here for example or news somewhere on your phone and you want and you know that this is the application you recognize you can tap uh, and install here and apart from the bloatware what I do recommend doing is going straight to the Play Store over here and sign in to your Google account. But of course, one has one. Once you are signed in, we have to go to the search bar. So, as I said, to the search bar, tap search, and now what we ha where we have to go, we have to type a Q battery and tap search. Now tap a Q battery and tap install button. 
I really recommend this application because here if we tap open we can see every single detail about our battery. Tap finish and now as I can see once you do some cycles I mean charge and discharge your device uh, and you wait, we will wait for example for a week you will see here in the health some uh, very very important things in this phone such as actually battery capacity over time yeah, I know that this phone is new and so if you do see here some uh, mistakes some errors about battery you'll see that you have for example 80 or 70 percent of the battery capacity you have to go to the authorized service and check your battery uh, if you do have it damaged they will replace it like for the warranty in the discharging here as you can see they have voltage temperature average battery usage and battery current if you do have something in red like for example i do here it's normal uh, uh, as for the voltage but as for the temperature average uh, battery usage and battery current it's not normal so you have to go and check that out in the authorized service with the proof of purchase apart from that here you, you do have the screen of usage details just analyze this data and here if you do have any errors just go and check it in the service same as with the charging and the battery wear so actually this is for the IQ battery apart from that we can go and hold the volume up and power button click actually and move this button to the reboot reboot restart the phone because this is the most important thing that most people don't do and this process restarting the phone optimizes all the applications that you do have in it and just the system itself i know that it's maybe useless but during the night or be before sleeping or you can just set the option that your phone will be restarted after some time uh, or during the night or scheduled you can just set it yourself and um, yeah that's it of the that's it about that's it about the phone restarting process this is just best for fixing the battery box restarting the phone optimizing the phone optimizing the apps etc and as I said, the final thing, even though you have not recognized any battery um, errors, any battery like uh, suspicious things, uh, go to the authorized battery company service or just contact them on the website because you may have the overheating issues, you may have just battery factory damaged and you can't see it in the application itself. So go contact them, uh, ask for the warranty, for example, and check this issue out because this is mostly not your problem this is the company's problem and you just have to change your battery and sometimes i mean if they prove that if they prove that you have damaged this phone and for example dropped it and then the battery drain uh, went on you'll have to pay for the battery but if you did nothing they prove you nothing you can have the a battery replacement for free like as i said in terms of the warranty so don't get scammed remember that this is a new phone like first phone so nothing should be bad when it comes to the battery actually if we go to the settings and go to the battery right here we can see that um this is the time remaining to our battery discharge if you do see some smaller amount of time you can report that too because uh, if you have for example here 10 hours this is wrong and you shouldn't have this small amount of time and actually that is for this video if you found it helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like on our video it's very important to us to have your feedback so if you like this video share it subscribe to our channel and leave a like and comment in under our video because it supports us it helps us very very much and it's just nice and as i said that's it hope it helps you and goodbye goodbye have a nice day